Welcome to DeepX. In this video we will design a soldier pylon lagging wall with rakers supporting a 25 feet excavation. DeepX is our software program for design and analysis of any deep excavation model. It can design any common wall type and support system using the classical limit equilibrium analysis method, it can use the non-linear analysis method with elastoplastic springs, and it can also perform finite element analysis. In this example, we will show you how to create fast a model with our model wizard, how to analyze it, review the different results, and optimize the model. Inside the DeepX software, we will use for this example the model wizard in order to create the model fast. Here we will select to use English units for this example, and in the first wizard tab we can select the analysis method. In this example, we will use the classical limit equilibrium analysis, and we will use FHWA apparent pressures for the soil pressures in all stages with at least one support activated. In the next tab we will select the project type, so in this example we will design a wall supported with rakers and a hill block. And here we will define the final excavation depth to 25 feet. We will change the wall depth at 50 feet and we will place the water at elevation minus 25. Down here we can edit the structural section for our rakers. By pressing the edit button, here we can add as many new strut sections as we wish. And in this example we will use an I-beam and I will select an HP12 section from the drop down. So we see that the software includes several sections and all the properties are implemented already. And here we will select the HP12 section that we just created. Here we will click on this checkbox so all the used rakers will come at the same base point using the same hill block. In the next tab we can edit the soil types so we can actually create a list of soils and change their soil properties according to our geotechnical report and we can also change the soil properties using our SPT estimator or partial estimation tools. By pressing the edit borings button the borings dialog appears where we can define our actual stratigraphy. In this example we will use at elevation minus 12 feet a soil layer S1 which is a sand, and at minus 22 feet we will use a GT soil. At minus 50 we will use a rock. I press OK and this action will update our stratigraphy. In the next tab we can actually select the wall type. Here by pressing the edit section data button this dialog appears where we can create a list of wall sections and we can access and modify each one of them. In this example we will use a soldier pilot lagging wall with I-beams. We will define the spacing between the I-beams at 8 feet and we can select the structural section for our I-beams. In this example I will use an HP16. In the lagging tab we can define the lagging thickness and we will select to place the lagging outside the pile face so this will be our wall section for this example. In the stages we can define the depth from the surface on the wall of every support level. So we will place the first raker 5 feet below the surface and the second 15 feet below the surface. In the next tab we can add a load. So in this example we will use a strip load and we will use a 0.6 KSF load developed for 20 feet starting 2 feet behind the wall. In the codes we will select to keep the current structure and geotechnical design codes which are the default codes in the software. We see that the software created automatically every construction stage and we can access and we can review the structural properties of every item here. Here we can select to run the analysis and as soon as the analysis finishes the analysis and checking summary table appears where we can see the most critical results among all construction stages. We can see the different wall results and from this we could tell that this structural wall moment and CR ratios are pretty small. We target for an STR 
less than one but close to one for us to have an efficient solution and this would mean that there is some space for us to use a smaller i-beam section uh, increase the distance between the supports etc here we see that these results are marked in red this means that at least one of our supports fails structurally if we go further we can see the wall embedment safety factors and we in general target all of them to be above 1.5 so the most critical one for means that there is more than enough wall embedment we could definitely cut some feet from our wall depth by closing this dialog we can review several results graphically on the model area like the soil pressures here the wall moment with the moment capacity with red in different construction stages the support structural ratios and here we can see that actually both of our supports fail the wall shear with the shear capacity the estimated displacements etc so now we should take an action to optimize our model first of all we can double click on the wall and we will select to change the wall depth so let's try 45 feet i press ok this will reset our analysis and running the analysis once again will present us the new results so if i go to the end i see that it is a little bit optimized but again there is some space for us to use a shorter wall so we can try a couple of times because the analysis is so fast it makes sense for us to try different values also we can do the optimization automatically of any item on the model area so if i go to the optimize tab i can select to auto design support structurally i will click on the support and here it presents us different item sections and the structural ratio that they could produce so i will use this one hp16 i press ok so now if i check my strat is using the HP16 section. If I run the analysis once again, we can see that it is quite optimized. And if I want to increase it a little bit, I can access it, edit the structural section, access a new one, and I will use here an HP section. Let's see. Uh, an HP 18 and I will access the top raker and I will use the HP 18 section so now my bottom one is using this HP 16 so I can independently change the structural section for every raker on the model area running the analysis again we can see that now we're fine for the supports structurally and this produces a factor very close to one if we wish to be safe we could increase it a little bit more and this one has a factor 0 0.7 which is good visit our websites in order to receive more information about our software programs and services if you wish to arrange a free online presentation with one of our technical experts feel free to contact us Thank you for watching this video.